Welcome back, Wolfpack Brillis here. Del Caddy's back. All right, Lucy, can you make Del Caddy work with all this? I mean, Whimsicott does have a good amount of promise if you think about it. That Whimsicott's a really good support. I really love Whimsicott just in singles or doubles. So that's really promising right there. And then we also have just Del Caddy. It might set up. It might do something. We'll just see how it ends up going. And that's against the Talonflame Greninja open, though. That's pretty standard and pretty busted. So that's gonna be a fake out on the Talonflame. Does a little bit of damage. And then we have Switcheroo coming in from the Whimsicott. And that's going to give Toxic Orb to Greninja and then gain a Focus Sash. So unfortunately, though, I think that Ice Beam is headed for the Whimsicott. It would have been really cool to see, like, the Focus Sash stop the Brave Bird if uh, Greninja went for Delcaddy. But Greninja went for the good play. So, Greninja's badly poisoned right there. Talonflame going to throw out the Brave Bird. That looks like it's headed for Delcaddy. And... Okay then. So, that that happened. Uh, Delcaddy let me down again. But we're gonna see if the battle can come back. There's the Whimsicott with the Tailwind. And now we got that speed setup going, so Greninja with that Ice Beam. That's going to pretty much double clear the field right there. Man, that, that Greninja Talonflame is one of the worst things that this Whimsicott could have seen. And apparently Delcaddy. So, that, that toxic damage going to come in. Um, not really too much else to say, but Glaceon is going to try to salvage this one. And we also do have that Espeon. So I wonder how this one could... How this one's going to end up. Like, that's... That's something right there. So Brave Bird going to come across. And who's that going to hit? Espeon. Espeon tanks up the Brave Bird. And Talonflame does not go down, unfortunately. But, I mean, we could see... Oh, wait. The Life Orb. Oh, man. Does take it out in the end. And Espeon with that Dazzling Gleam. So that damage coverage would have been enough in the end. Gets a good amount of damage. Loses out to the Life Orb, though. And then Greninja is just going to get a Dark Pulse off. So that actually, if Greninja was faster, that, well, it wouldn't have been too much worse for it, because, oh wait, it actually would have, because um, Espeon wasn't getting focused. So that's a hidden power, and that's going to just be a little bit of damage. But Glaceon versus two, I don't, superior though. I mean, and the Glalie, what could happen? Okay, so that's Mega Glalie. Is, is it just going to be like Mega Glalie straight up into an explosion? Is there going to be a predict prediction? Are we going to see some kind of survival? Like, superiors with the hidden power? Glaceon doesn't take anything from that. Glaceon throws the hidden power right back. Hidden power fire onto the Glalie? Ooh. Glalie with the return. I mean, is Glaceon that takey? What? Glalie with the protect. Um... I mean, are we just going to see a blizzard going for that double finish? Hidden power. What? I'm wondering what Superior is up to on this one. Yeah, Glaceon with the hidden power. Glalie gets the protect, though. Tailwind peters out. That's right. We had the Tailwind speed boost from earlier. Here's the hidden power again. And Glalie with the explosion. Aw, oh, man. Wait. That means the opponent's... It... Doesn't that mean the wind doesn't count? Because <laughs> he's exploding on the last turn? I think that's how that one ends up working out, because, yeah, you, you shouldn't be doing that, so we we get Glaceon with the win. I, I don't know what to, just happened, guys. <laughs> um, I feel like instead of just, like, a hidden power spam, you know, landing a blizzard onto the superior would have been probably, nah, the superior's really tanky, though. Also, superior wasn't going for any kind of, like, leaf storm setup, but... <laughs> Why do people have to play so weird? Um, I guess just if we take anything from this, here's a lesson, kids. No Explode Arena last turn if it's you, and then you lose.